Well, we've arrived at Fisherman's Village. And we're walking down through here. And we picked up Phil. Here he is with his dad. So we're trying to find a restaurant to um, have a little lunch. Then we're going to go walk around the Nina and the Pinta that are in here. So I'll pick this up later. So here we are at the restaurant. That's the bay. You see the bay. Now we're going to order. This is the Nina. She's in. This is a replica. I and mean, she's in Punta Gorda. I'll show you up, up there. Try not to move too much. And this is the this is the sign. I'll try to film it for a bit so you can read it if you so care to. up in the front. It sails with a crew of 11. I had it wrong. I was showing you the Nina. It was the Pinta. Yeah. So we're about to go on board the Nina.
but that short hair can't survive your hair. It can always build to the side. I sleep downstairs. I'm not going up the steps to there, but this is the Nina up high on the rear end of it. Climb up there and work the lines. I don't know what you can see down here, but this is down below. Now this is the Pinta. Appears to be a little bit bigger different design A little bit bigger ship, I think. only down here. <laughs> There's Philip. At least they have on this one a nice bigger area to get in, out from under the sun. Here's the snapshots of down below the galley and the main salon. The captain's quarters and the officer's quarters and then the overall view. This is it. In the back of the boat. 
coast hoggers. This is the areas that these boats have sailed. Well, this one I may try to go up above, see what it's like. Sorry about the jiggling. It's just the way it is, name of the game. This is Port Charlotte Harbor. Parked at Fisherman's Village. A lot of work to sell these. Must be about 11 people per boat. From up here, looking down. There's George and Philip.